All right, boys, as you can see, we are playing the new slime Isekai Memories on my PC right now. Not on our phone, it's on our computer. And in today's video, I'm going to show and explain how to do it and what the perfect settings are for um, blue stacks to use on this game because there have been some bugs reported because this launch has been kind of poor from the developer side. Um, but blue stacks can make up for it with uh, their options okay so we can make this run great uh, and i'm going to show you how so let's go to the website first i'm going to have a link in the description that's going to be my personal link that you can use to download the game if you do so they'll greatly support me so i'd appreciate it but what you want to do is you just want to download blue stacks 5 okay pretty straightforward you download it um you install it everything is super simple there's nothing else you need to do it program pretty much runs itself and once you've installed it you'll be on this home screen, right? Now, if you're on this home screen and you go to the Play Store and you go to search for Slime Isekai, so you, you find Slime Isekai Memories, it will say that your device is not supported, okay? And that's because there's different versions of Android and developers try to gatekeep it to, uh, to have certain requirements for the game, right? So you can meet them and they want more modern phones. So the base blue stacks won't work for this. What you have to do is you have to go to instance manager, which by the way is great because that means you can have multiple games running at the same time on different instances if you're someone that plays many different gacha games. But since we're only talking about slime, I'm only gonna cover this. So this is the normal uh, blue stacks version. So it runs on Nougat 32 bit, which is like the uh, system it runs on. Now I'm on Pi 64 bit. And that's what you have to do to play slime. Now, you the way you make this is um, on the right, first of all, the instance manager is the second to last one, multi instance manager. You can also use a hotkey, I suppose, if you want to. You open it up and you make a new instance. Now you do fresh instance and you select Pi 64 bit beta. And then on these, you select how many cores you want to use, right? I suggest just going with high on both. Um, BlueStacks, unlike a lot of other emulators, doesn't take um, nearly as much RAM and CPU. So you will be fine if just setting it to high, it won't use all of it anyway. You can set it even higher if you want to. Um, then for these settings, it's all personal preference. Since I mainly use uh, BlueStack, so I don't absolutely destroy my phone by overheating it. And I can just have the game running on my PC where it runs everything, everything runs smooth and it's all nice. I um, usually put the DPI lower and then the resolution lower as well. But you can do whatever you setting you want. You can change them later anyway, um, which I'm going to show as well. But you want to do this, you create a new instance, boom, the instance is created, and then you can start this instance. Now, I'm going to stop my instance currently. Actually, I'm going to keep it open so I can show you the in-game uh, in a minute as well. And so I can show you that you can have multiple instances online at the same time. Right, so you have this, which usually doesn't take that much. On the, on the first uh, startup, it does take a little longer than usual because it has to like get everything ready. But uh, once you've made it, now when you go to the Play Store and you type in Slime Isekai, it'll be available to download. You can download it, you can play it and everything. It'll be great. You won't have to kill your phone. You can just run it on your PC, which is what is usually better. You have to sign to your Google Play as well, which I'm not going to do in this video right now. But as you can see, it does work. We can play it. Now, if I go to Play and we are in-game right now, um, you have your cursor that works as your finger, obviously, if you've never used uh, Blue Six before, and you can walk around, right? Um, the thing is, walking around with your cursor can be kind of annoying. So what you can do is you can actually use game controls. You can have custom custom game controls um, that let you move. So I have set this to my WASD. So when I press W, it goes up, A goes to the left, uh, D goes to the right, S goes down, right? Uh, and the way you do this is you go up here to the game controls and then you go open advanced uh, editor and you make a new one. Now I'm actually gonna move this up a little bit because I think it's too close to the corner. Um, but there you go. You have this, and then you can have other stuff too. Uh, you can have repeated taps. If uh, that's something for you, you can have a zoom button, a swipe button, a tilt button, everything, anything you want. Um, a tap spot. So let's say um, I want to be able to click menu if I just click M, right? Uh, oops, well, M. There you go. And then I save it, right? So now when I close this and I press M, it's going to click menu. Boom. See, and then I can close it again by pressing M again. And you can hide these two, right? Because I know a lot of people don't want to look at them. You can hide them too. Great, right? Wonderful. Another thing you can do is if you go to the settings, which I'm going to show you right now, um, you can have high performance mode, which is really good. And then you can also have enable high frame rate, which lets you get up to 240 frame rate, uh, which I don't see uh, being necessary right now because 
Uh, it only works if the game support it, and Slime currently does not really support higher frame rates. Um, but I'm sure gonna, I'm, there's a lot of bugs in that game right now, so I'm gonna sure that, I'm sure they're gonna patch it out uh, eventually. Uh, maybe today, maybe tomorrow. But if you wanna, if you play different games, you wanna have a high, higher frame rate unlocked in uh, just 30 or 60. You can put it up to 240 maximum, which is really good. You can disable the FPS during the gameplay, so you can see how uh, well your game is running currently. Um, and yeah, so for settings, there's one important thing for slime that you have to do uh, because of the way the game is made. Now, when you go to recruit to the summon screen, um, this might be black for you. Uh, you might not be able to see this. Now, the way to fix this is you go to your settings and then you go to display. Uh, no, sorry, to graphics. And then you change your graphics render to DirectX and your interface renderer to DirectX as well. Uh, now you can have OpenGL for this as well as far as I'm concerned, but this has to be DirectX. Um, and that makes it so you can actually see these, there's no black screen, you can actually like play the game properly without any bugs. Um, actually, I'm gonna do a single summon right now because why not, maybe we'll pull a 5 star. Um, uh, I don't think so. Let's see, I'm just gonna skip it. Oh. There we go. Okay, cool. See, everything works great. Um, game runs smoothly for the most part. Um, I want to enable VSync. I think I'll do that later because VSync does help with uh, how smooth a game runs uh, in performance. There you go. Oh, I actually have it enabled right now. Yeah. So I have it enabled right now because it helps with how smooth the game runs because it will try to enforce a certain frame rate. Now I set it to 60. I probably set it to like 40 or 30 normally. But I do believe in Bluesex capabilities of helping me out. And again, like it uses so much less RAM and CPU than other emulators have used in the past. And um, I can show you too. Oh, I don't want to click that. Uh, if we go back, which I can just click M since I have I have that key now. Um, we go to a quest. I go to any quest. We can go to uh, let's go training. Let's do a level up quest since I need uh, need these anyways. Let's just do an easy one so I'm, there's no 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 issues here. Um, is this my team? This is not my team. This is my EP team. This is the team I use. Uh, wait, what? Whatever. We're just going to use this team for now. Who cares? Um, and you'll see game works just fine. You just put it on auto. You can you can click it yourself too. You can have a button for each of the cards here, uh, which I don't. Um, but you can do if you want to. I'm, I'm okay with just clicking them, clicking them. So let me turn off auto. And then we can go down here. Um, and I could just click them, right? I could just go pop, 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 um, boom, we activate, boom, well, I'm just gonna let it on auto. But there you go, the game works fine, it, it runs great. Um, this is where I'm gonna be primarily playing it because I, I tried running it on my phone and after like 10 minutes it started overheating. So I think I'm just gonna let it play on this. It uses, I mean, this is just auto mode, like it uses skills automatically. I have the skill, uh, I have it unlocked and it automatically skips the skills and everything already. Because I'm a little bit more ahead. It depends on when you when you're watching this video. This might just be basic stuff to you, but right now, you know, not many people have that. Um, but yeah, this is it. Again, link in the description if you want to download it. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. I can I can help you with those too. Uh, you can also run the game in full screen, by the way, if you want to. If you press F11, boom, it's in full screen now. Uh, so you can play like a like a you can feel like you're playing a proper actual game. Uh, doesn't really change performance wise because the resolution stays the same so you can just do this if you want to um i personally like having it in windowed mode uh, i i feel i have it just feels nicer to me but to each their own right um can you press alt enter as well you cannot so f11 for, for for full screen f11 again to enter uh, to exit it and then uh change your settings the way you want it to look the way you want it to work Again, for Slime specifically, you want to have DirectX graphics render and DirectX interface renderer. And then for performance, just do what you want. I actually have, um, I actually put uh, eight gigabyte of RAM just in case it needs it, which uh, it doesn't. Uh, and then high cores for, I had, I had eight cores earlier as well, but I was like, there's no reason it doesn't, it legit just doesn't use that much. Um, anyway, I hope this was helpful to you guys. Um, let me know if you've installed it. Let me know if you plan on playing this game and let me know if you have any other questions. Again, the big thing I've seen a lot of people ask about playing on PC as well was this bug that everything was black and the game kept crashing, but you can fix that. Just set your graphics render and your interface renderer to DirectX. Right, that's gonna be it, boys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Catch you out.